the, I think the timing of what we're all trying to do here is absolutely critical. I mean, the, the opening of the MTC and now the, the addition of the Advanced uh, uh, Training Centre here, absolutely critical in terms of meeting one of those shortfalls, one of those issues that we have in this country. At Siemens in the UK have 500 apprentices today um, and I think it's very important that those apprentices have that, that good grounding and that good foundation. If you look at a great factory, it'll have strong foundations. If you, if you look at a, a good business, it'll have strong foundations. And I think careers also need strong foundations and this is why apprenticeships are so important. We have our own apprentices but we're quite diverse in what we do, so we have uh, hydraulics, we have assembly technologies, uh, drive controls, and, and each of those divisions have different skill sets. The investment in skills is, uh, is certainly of value, but it's also a prerequisite for this country to continue on the, on the trajectory that it is. Um, we are being faced with uh, increasingly challenging requirements from our customers. Uh, and we're developing technologies to answer those problems and, and provide solutions for that. But unless the skills keep up, we'll be devising technologies that no one's able to use. The apprentices need to start with the basic machine tools and the basic principles of two, three, four axes, but we have to align them with what's in industry. If we don't do that, we've failed the the purpose of actually training them in the first place. It's no good sending out somebody who can do half a job to a customer and then you know when realistically we need the latest technologies in here. So what DMG Mori will do is also have a rolling program and make sure that we keep the latest technologies in there. Yeah I started with Siemens in 1978 as an apprentice and uh, it gave me a great foundation uh, for the rest of my career. And I must admit, I've tapped into those experiences and skills that I developed as a youngster all the way through my career. And I keep topping it up on a regular basis as well. The value of investing in skills, both in the short and long term, is staying competitive in the marketplace. It's not only uh, important for ourselves as a global company um, to invest in the future, but for national colleges like the AMTC to do, to do the same. The, the Lloyds Bank Advanced Manufacturing Training Centre is really important to our bank, our group, for, for several reasons. I mean, first of all, um, our purpose at Lloyds is not just to be a great bank and, and to be the best bank for, for, for the companies in the UK, but it's to do more than that. It, it's to really help the UK you know, thrive and, and prosper and obviously training and skills and knowledge and, and manufacturing and engineering as a, as a sector, all these things are so important to us. Careers have to be uh, first and foremost enjoyable and I think that's where this is a, a really nice link. So the guys coming through the facility can come into here and see where their skills that they're being taught and are learning can be applied in the real world. And this is why I think the AMTC is a perfect engineering sandpit the engineers of the future. We've got some great machinery and technology across the road at the MTC and Siemens are very proud to support the AMTC in developing the right skills that we'll need to make UK the best in the world in manufacturing. We're confident that the new skills learnt today will drive manufacturing in the future. But apprenticeships, vocational skills are, are, are a must in this world and um, we're now embarking on the new challenge of, of training you know, the next generation of people that hopefully is going to pay my pension. Engineering as a discipline can give you a, a fabulous career um, with lots of enjoyment, continuous lifelong learning and, and hopefully a legacy that, uh, can, that can leave this country in a better place as far as manufacturing productivity and, uh, and a future for manufacturing in the UK. You know, it's our small part to play in a, in a big movement for this country to just try to bring on different skills, deeper skills across you know, many industries and, and uh, engineering and, and manufacturing applications as we possibly can and you know, we, we will stay committed to that, that goal. So this, th this particular facility here is first class. It actually exceeds what I've seen anywhere else today and I think you just have the advantage that you're moving on to the next step but you know if I was a young kid coming here boy I'd you know I would lap it up It'd be fantastic <laughs>